How's it going ladies and bruises, I'm Bobby Six Killer, welcome back to Star Drop. We are currently on this ship that we got sent to to search and rescue or salvage or whatever. Um, we've got the power back on but that's all we've done here, so. Oh, and found a creepy ass maintenance droid. Apart from that, nothing yet. We're gonna see what happens, where the shit goes down or what. Hard to say really what's gonna happen. It is that easy. Good to know. It's gonna save while we're here. Security again. Always talking about security. So I tried getting into the ship's network, but it seems the mainframe is offline for the most part. I can't really do anything. You need to bring it back online. Do you know where it's located? Sorry, you're on your own. I'm being blocked off left, right, and center. I'm not able to access anything right now. Don't worry, I'll find it. I need some star drink first. That stuff looks like it's gonna give me all the energy I need. Mm-hmm. Gotta get that star drink in me first. I don't know, I can't do anything in the morning without my cup of star drink. Hang on. Something is completely off with this ship. There are no signs of any distress at all. There's no visible damage. Everything is just neat and tidy. It's almost like the entire crew just... vanished. I know. I've been going through the, all the data I collected so far, and from what I can tell, there's no fuel left. It's like it went as far as it could, then simply powered down. No distress signal or anything. It just doesn't make sense. I don't like this one bit. The key cat. Surely that's useful for something, right? That cat is cute, man. That data pad might come in handy though. Showers. Okay. None of the computers seem to be operational. Are we saying we get to the future? The far future and we still haven't fixed the battery life of our freaking lithium ion batteries. Was that nothing? I thought that'd be a something because it was hidden under a pillow. Hidden. And it was still nothing. The creepy maintenance droid. What did that say? Press left mouse button to collect. Huh. I can collect creepy maintenance droids. How exciting. Doorways 95. God almighty. What is this? Controller. <gasps> cassette tapes. Jesus. This is the far future to have cassette tapes. I don't even have cassette tapes. And I actually remember when cassette tapes were a thing. Vaguely. <laughs> I don't know where we're going anymore. Let's have a look at our uh, log here quickly. Locate the mainframe, bring it back online. Look for data pads. I found a data pad. Something serious over the maintenance droid on this deck. It's been neglecting watering all the other plants except for this particular one. It's only caring after the one plant near the security station like it's an obsession. It's creeping me out. Do you have any idea why it's doing that? Has anyone said anything to you about it? Maybe we should meet up later and talk about approaching Colin or the captain or something. Let me know what you think. Oh, wrong button, my bad. Okay. So near the security station, 
Maintenance droids being all creepy weirdo. And love it on this one particular plant. Like an oddball. Security's that way. Works for me. Oh wow. That one. What happened here? He's still working after John, it. John, are you seeing this? Yeah, I'm seeing the creepy flower robots. It seems like it ran out of power while attending the flowers. It's almost sad. Red flags, Aaron. It clearly went beyond its protocols, and that usually isn't a good sign. Please be careful. Don't worry. Whatever happened, it's displaying care rather than threat. And besides, it's powered down. We've got a data pad out of it though, so what do we got here? Event, watering plant active. This plant has the best chance at survival. It remains, reminds me of memory leak. I love what it reminds me of something that I can't remember. <laughs> it reminds me of nothing. <laughs> Okay. Moving on. That goes to the bridge. We should do that then. I don't think we've been to the bridge. Alright. That's all good. Star drink. Drink the stars. Thank you. Computer. Thank you, computer. Set course to mainframe. Power grid control. <coughs> <coughs> this way. John, come in. I'm inside the mainframe. Copy that, Aaron. Boot her up. Hack into the mainframe. Always 95. <laughs> Good job, Aaron. I'm inside the network. Yeah, I got a slight issue here. What's that? I'm trapped inside the mainframe. The door's closed when the servers came back online, and it's also locked up the door panel. I can't get out. Yeah, that's a problem. Mm, hold on. I should be able to open the doors from here. That would be lovely. Some good news and some bad news. Why doesn't that surprise I'm me? I'm going on hold again. The good news is that I'm able to navigate the ship's network. The bad news is that the mainframe is directly linked to the security system. It looks like when I override the door controls, a lockdown protocol will be initiated to isolate any intruders inside the mainframe, and there's no way I can get around it. I can open the doors, but you'll have to manually disengage the alarms. Won't system. they attack me then? Wow, okay. That's, um, inconvenient? Just a tad. Well, it's a non-lethal security system. That's nice. So all I gotta do is head for the security station and shut it off? Yes, but after that the security system will remain active. What does that mean? So let's say you're in the line of sight of a security camera. When that happens, you'll have three seconds before it triggers the alarm. Three! So I have to move out of their sight. Correct, or else we'll trigger the alarm, lock down the entire deck, and you'll have to head back to the security station and reset the alarm. Oh no. Okay. Sounds easy enough. It really is. Shut up, right. John. I'm going to open the doors in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay. Well, at least we know where the security station is. It's got an obsessive android looking after it. Oh, we can do it from here. Man, I do not like security systems. They are way too noisy. I know. Hey, Eric, I have a new scene in progress. Lay it on me. You need to shut down the security system manually. It 
It's the only way to open up all the gates and give you access to the entire ship. There's a control room on deck one, which should let you shut it down from there. But first you need to figure out how to get to it. There's a gate blocking the way near Flower Robot. Flower Robot? Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say Creepy Flower Robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an elevator you can use to get there, though. You can access it through the cargo bay. Okay, sounds good. Any ideas how to get to the cargo bay? Well, you gotta head back to deck three and find a way to unlock the elevator there. We'll sort the rest out when you reach it. Sounds like a plan. Great. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Aaron, before I forget, now that the mainframe is back online, you should be able to access the computer terminals on board. You can read emails, listen to audio logs, who knows what you'll find. Good idea. Thanks. And if you find anything by a Martian prince, do not believe it. <laughs> Roger that. Shut up. You're gonna get to take three. All right, this should get us to the cargo bay. Confidence is lacking, must admit. Aaron, come in. What's up? I just found out the androids on the ship are also linked to the security system. There's one down there with you. Uh, I had a feeling you were going to say that. Uh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. You're right. I almost forgot that. It will trigger the alarm immediately if it sees you. And if you make enough noise, it'll be attracted to that. Just use your object scanner to avoid it. Ah, uh, great. As if I didn't have enough reasons to be creeped out by this thing. I know. But don't worry, I checked their security protocols, and they're also harmless. It won't attack you or anything. Somehow that doesn't make it any less creepy. Anywho, just locate the override control panel. That's the only way you're going to be able to open the doors to the control room. Gotcha. This one? Did we do good? The elevator doors are open. Great. They should lead to the cargo bay. Copy that. Where are the elevator doors though? From here. Looks like this way. So I'm not so good at reading maps. To be fair. Cargo bay. Easy enough. Let's go. Okay, We're getting there. So you basically just need to head over to the other side of the cargo bay to get to the elevator leading back to deck one. Easy peasy. About that, um, you're not gonna like this, but there are more androids down there, and a bunch of security cameras. I see you're the right. cameras. I don't like this. It's not all bad, actually. I'm detecting a couple of network terminals down there. You should be able to use them to overload the, uh, network. Just use whichever terminal you can and overload it. One of the androids will have to go down there and fix it, ignoring you along the way until it gets there and fixes the overload. So I can distract them using that? Correct. A cooldown timer will be shown on the display panel indicating how much time the android will need to fix the issue. It will start counting down once it arrives. Okay. That's pretty helpful. Indeed. So the time it takes for it to reach the terminal, plus the actual cooldown time, should give you a nice window to sneak through the rest of the cargo bay. Okay, gotcha. Just keep in mind that this does not affect the security cameras. Okay. Anomaly, visual, 
What? How did you know where I was, you freaking jerk? What a douche canoe. Just walk up and be like, oh, there you are. Dickhead. You can't just know where I am, dipshit. I'm sneaking. Can't you tell? I don't know where this panel is either. Oh, great. There's a gate blocking the path to the elevator. There has to be a control panel somewhere down there. Oh, I'm looking. Not that one. That's the save thing. Is this the panel? Let's go. That wasn't so bad. I just sort of rushed through it. Screw doing it properly. Rush through that shit. That's how I stealth. Oh god. That one's right there. Are we there? Are we nearly there? I feel like we're nearly there. I'm excited. Well, I'm finally at the security office. There should be an override control panel somewhere inside. Ah. Shit. <laughs> there is. But I don't know the number. Shit, that one's got a number as well. <laughs> oh, thank god. 5690. Why would you just leave that there? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm sorry. But why would you leave that there? It's very irresponsible, idiot. Could someone please disable the keypad in the med bay? The medical team and the research team are always in close contact, and I don't understand why there's a lock in the room that resets itself daily. They keep forgetting the key codes and have to ask James or Yesina, Yesinia to open the door. I'd really appreciate it if we could just ditch the whole thing altogether. The keypad was malfunctioning and reset to the default factory code of 0000. Cool. Gotcha. Zero, 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 zero. The hardest code to figure out. Well, it's official. Ship is all yours now. I wonder if it changes name. Yeah, we'll call it Steve. Please don't call it the Enterprise. Damn. Hmm. Alright, the security cameras as well as that android should leave you alone from here on out. All the security gates are opened and I'm able to navigate the network without any issues. For now, however, you're free to explore the entire ship. When you're done, you can head to the bridge and help me extract those coordinates. I want to do that. Sounds good to me. Thanks, John. What would I do without you? We're already at the bridge. I want to do that. I'm excited to see what happens next. Come on. Oh, we're at the bridge. Better have a star drink before we go. Make sure I've got the energy for this. Ooh, we haven't been in here. Some kind of sick bay? For a ship that's supposed to be 50 years old, it sure doesn't look like it. Yeah, I agree. Technology-wise, everything is still above average compared to most ships today. It's pretty fancy. Maybe it fell through a time warp. Did we think of that? Have we considered this option? This, this possibility? Hmm. The bridge door is still closed. Huh. I can't open it from here. It's set to manual override. You'll have to figure it out on your own. Sorry. Okay, I'll get on it. You should be sorry. Jerk. Ugh. I don't know what that was, but it's mine now. Can 
We just gotta find out that the code is. The code opens the door. Here we go, here we go. We have a data pad. And what do you say, Mr. Data Pad? Selena Archer, First Officer Jamison Pellegrin. That's a list of people. Oops. Okay. That's actually not very helpful. Oh well. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Colin Weld. I've changed the passcode on your office computer. As a precautionary countermeasure after the two breaches were detected. New passcode 2075. That's the captain's. 2075. On the captain's door. Correct? This is the captain. This one. 2075. Yes! There we go. Captain, I've detected two breaches within an hour from each other. The first was aimed at Amanda Gold's terminal, the other was Miranda Hirsch's. I've changed the internal authorization specifications in their passcodes and sent new ones to their data pads. The odd thing is, the breach was, well, odd. It wasn't an outside action either, the security tracker couldn't pinpoint a, a source location. The breach looked as if it was generated from inside the system itself. I've never seen anything like it. No one has used any of the stations to hack from. I don't know what to make of this. I sent out a nominal notification, but this really concerns me. We need to figure out what's going on and clarify any risk factors before this gets out of hand. I've received a Class A emergency notification from First Officer Andrew Collins. He requests that we cancel the surface mission immediately and the entire crew of the SD-01 is to head back and dock with the SD-00. An emergency meeting has been issued once yourself and the other key staff members are present. No details about the nature of the emergency were given, but I have relayed the emergency call to Colin Weld per regulations, so he can prepare security details regarding the further COA. On a personal note, Captain, myself as well as others have observed minor but worrying irregularities in a number of sections. I've received numerous complaints regarding the maintenance androids acting outside of their protocols and showing odd behaviour. We also received reports from several crew members where their terminals have been breached. On top of that, other parts of the ship's terminals have had their programming partially overwritten. So far nothing major has happened and none of the code changes have put anyone at risk, but they don't make any sense. I can only speculate, but I can't shake the feeling that our recall has something to do with whatever has been going on. I'll update you on the situation if anything changes. Alright, so we got that big door open as well, so that's cool. What is going on here? And what's SD00? That must be the mothership. The mothership. I'm excited to see that one too, that's gonna be cool. John, come in. I'm on the bridge. Oh. Great. The flight data should be on one of these terminals. I'll take a look around. There's only one oh no, there's a couple of active terminals. What do we got here? Gil Pruitt. John, it's here. It's all here. This ship definitely belongs to the star drop. I still can't believe we found its location. The star drop? Man, that's unreal. Holy cow. This calls for a celebration. Once you get back to the ship, I'm gonna party like it's 1999. <gasps> John, the bridge door closed. I know. John. Shit. I know. Can you hear me? That voice. Please respond, I don't have much time. That voice. I know. What's going on? Can you hear me? I don't know, I... John, trace the signal. What? Trace the signal, now! Please respond, I don't have much time. This is Aaron Vance. I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Eagle Hamada. That's impossible. I'm... Sorry. Why is, Why is that impossible? Because Ido Hamada passed away over 90 years ago. You can't be him. I... I don't know why... I don't know why... I need your help, please. I can't explain right now. I don't have the time. I'm sorry. 
All I ask is for you to help me from one explorer to another. I'm sending the coordinates to my location. You're my only hope here in Vance. The time warp thing is a thing. John, Confirmed. This can't be real. I cannot explain what just happened. I traced the signal and it matches the coordinates I received. I also recorded the broadcast and downloaded whatever I could from the database. I'm head back and analyze the data back home now, okay? Okay. Home. I want to go home for now. Just head back to the airlock. You leave the moment you're back on board. Are we actually going to be allowed to leave or are you going to stop me? It wouldn't be that surprising if they just stopped us. That was out of it. Aaron, you okay? what you're thinking. How in God's name is Ido Hamada hailing us from the star drop? Just head back to the ship. I'm ready to leave when you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, well actually we're out of time for this one. So we're going to wrap this episode up here and we will carry on as we transfer it back over to our ship and see what's going to happen after that. Maybe they're going to give us the coordinates to SD00. I assume that's where Ido Hamada was calling from. The mothership for this ship. But I guess we'll find out then. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.